Hi everybody, I'm Nam. And it's Richard over here. And today we're going to do a Dominion Shuffle. Now if you remember to, in my complete tutorial video, I alluded to a strategy segment, basically where we play a game and we discuss the ecosystem of 10 cards. This is the first official episode of Dominion Shuffle. Right now we're going to go over the 10 cards. We won't go over what they do yet, we'll do that in-game. When you watch the game being played, and uh, these are the 10 cards. Chapel. We have Crossroads. We've got Tunnel. Talisman. We've got Smithy. Silk Road. We've got Spice Merchant. Merchant Ship. Cartographer. And last but not least, we have Treasury. Dominion Shuffle. There's a lot of randomization apps for Dominion out there on the internet, available as apps on your phone. So I use the one on Android, uh, the one called Dominion Shuffle. So that's how we got this set of 10, pretty much. GLHF. Good luck. One of the viewers that watched the last video, complete tutorial video, complained that we use the word money for these. They're actually coins, but you guys pretty much understand the concept. It doesn't really change gameplay, but terminology <laughs> is that they're coins. Alright, I'm going to use four coins. You happy? <laughs> I'm going to purchase a spice merchant. I have two for a crossroads. I'm gonna have three for a silver. Five for a cartographer. All right, this will be interesting, you know, because I had the three four split, you had the five two split. Yeah. So this will be this will be very interesting. Okay. Um, four. I'm going to grab spice merchant again. I'm gonna play cartographer. So with this cartographer, I get plus one card and plus one action, and then I look at the top four cards in my deck. Discard any number of them. I put the rest on top in any order. That's really good. So here's the top four. I'm going to put this... Uh, I'm going to discard that one and put the other ones on top in any order. You're going to discard an estate and then put the rest on top. And yeah. And then I have four, which I will buy a smithy. Uh, I'm going to play Spice Merchant. Spice Merchant reads, You may trash a treasure card from your hand. If you do... Choose one, plus two cards and plus one action, or plus two coins and plus one buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash a copper, and I will choose to get plus two coins and plus one buy. So I'll have a total of five coins, and I will get a merchant ship. All right, my turn, I'm going to play a crossroads. So I'm going to reveal my hand, and I get plus one card for every victory card I have. So one, I get plus one. And then I have plus three actions, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with those actions. So I have four. Four will buy me a another smithy. First, I'm going to play Spice Merchant. <laughs> and I'm going to trash this copper to draw two cards and plus one action. One, two. And then I'm going to play Merchant Ship and get plus two coins. So I'll have a total of three coins for a... Silver. And I do not clean merchant ship up this. I'm going to play cartographer, so I get plus one card, plus one action again, and I'm reveal the top four. Let me just shuffle really quick. Three, four. Four. And these two will be discarded. These two will put be be put on top. This will be discarded as well. This is gonna be put on top. And then I'm going to play Smithy for three cards. Two, three, four, five. We'll get me another cartographer. All right, beginning of my turn, merchant ship triggers. Then I will play spice merchant. I'm going to trash a treasure card from my hand, trashing another copper. I will choose two cards and plus one action. One card, and I gotta shuffle up for my second card. Then I will have two, four, six, eight coins. And uh, so now I'm at a crossroads. Ha ha. No pun intended. But I have a choice between getting a province or a gold. Because I think a gold would be a good choice earlier game. But I will go ahead and get a province. And now I clean up the merchant ship. I'm going to go play my cartographer. One, two, three, four. Let's check this. 
let's discard these three. Put this back on top. Uh, then I'm going to play a smithy to draw three cards. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to buy gold. Good choice. Uh, I'm going to have two silver, two from a silver, and I'm going to purchase a chapel. My deck is undoubtedly thinner than yours, but yeah. you've got a lot of engine cards. Yeah. How many cartographers do you have? Two? Something like that. Two or three. <laughs> many. Enough. Enough. Alright, so I'm going to play cartographer again. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. Let's go with getting rid of this one. Okay, discarding the estate. Yeah. Okay. Put these back on top. I'm going to then play a crossroads. And I will show that I have one victory card. So I get to draw one. And I get plus three actions. If this is the first crossroads, I've played this ten. Yep, well done. So I will play this smithy to draw three cards. One, two, three. And I have two actions left from this. And I will play another cartographer. Draw one card. Plus one action. And I show the top four. Three, four. I will discard this one, put these three back on top of my deck in any order, and then I will play the smithy to draw three more cards. Okay. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only one buy. With the ten, I will purchase a province. Okay. I'm going to play Spice Merchant, and I will... Trash a copper card to draw two cards and plus one action. And then I'm going to play a chapel to trash three cards from my hand. Uh, up to four cards, but I'm only going to choose to trash three. Two estates and a copper. And then I will play a silver for two coins to grab a crossroads. I will play my cartographer and draw one card and have an action. Four. Copper, copper, estate, gold. I'm going to discard the estate, put these three on top. And then I'm going to smithy and draw these three cards. So I have five copper and one gold for eight money, which will buy me another province. Yep, you got it. Okay, I'm going to play merchant ship. No, I'm not going to play merchant ship. <laughs> Let's not make this mistake again. I know I want to edit this out too. Okay, play spice merchant. Trashing a copper to get plus two cards, plus one action. And then I'm going to play a merchant ship. And I won't clean this up at the end of this turn. And I will have two, two coins for merchant ship for five coins total. That will be used to per be purchasing a treasury. I'm going to play my cartographer. And let me shuffle my deck really quick. Here are these four. Let's uh, get rid of these two estates and put the gold and the smithy back on top. And then I will be playing my crossroads, showing my hand, showing that I have two victory cards. So uh, I'm going to draw these two cards. Wait, I messed up my shuffle. Uh, this was supposed to stay out and play last turn. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to then use my one of my three actions to draw these three more cards. And I have three, four, five, six, seven. It's unfortunate, but I will buy a gold with the seven. Uh, my merchant ship triggers from last turn because I forgot to leave it out. And I'm going to play, let's start with treasury, plus one card, plus one action, plus one coin. And then when I discard this from play, if I didn't buy a victory card, I may put this back on top of my deck, which we'll see if in a second. Now I'm going to play crossroads. Uh, reveal my hand, plus one card per victory card revealed, which would be a province. So draw this one. And then uh, if this is the first time I, I play Crossroads this turn, plus three actions. So now I'm going to play Chapel. I'm actually going to trash both of my Spice Merchants. And this. So now I have two, three, four, five coins. And I'm going to use that to purchase a Merchant Ship. And this time, I do clean up the merchant ship. All right, I have my cartographer again. So let's draw that. And then one, two, 
three, four. I'm going to put uh, these three victory cards in my discard pile, put this copper back on top, and I will play a smithy to draw three cards. Two, three. And I have one, two, three, four, five coins. Five coins can purchase me another cartographer. All right, he's going cartographer crazy over there. Yep, making maps. Uh, I'm going to play a merchant ship, plus two coins now, and I don't clean it up, and I told myself that. And then um, silver and copper for a total of five coins, and I will use them to grabbing a cartographer. That seems like a good idea. That is a good idea. You've converted me. Yep. And I'm going to play a crossroads, so I don't have any victory cards in my hand, but it still allows me to get plus three actions. And one of those actions will be draw three cards from the smithy. One, two. And I have two actions left, which will allow me to play this cartographer. And then look at four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put both of these coppers and this province in my discard pile and put this cartographer back on top. And I have three, six, seven, eight, nine coin. Nine coin for one province. Okay, all right. So provinces are dwindling. There's four left. So remember, the game will end when, when all the provinces are gone or three of these piles are empty. All right, so merchant ship uh, triggers. And then I'll get to take my turn. I'm going to play a treasury, plus one card, plus one action, plus one coin, plus one card. Now I'm going to get to play crossroads, reveal my hand. There's one. And then I'll play, so I have plus three actions. Merchant ship, I'm going to discard this one. Merchant ship, so get plus two when I got two actions left from this. Now I'll play cartographer. Look at the top four cards on my deck. There's only three cards left on my deck. I'll discard this one and leave the other ones on top. And now I'm going to have two, four, five, six, seven. Seven money. Seven coins. coins. Seven coins. Seven coins. And I will gain a gold. And then since I gained a gold, I did not gain a victory point. I'm going to put the treasury back on top. And now for my turn, I'm going to play one of my famous cartographers. And then look at the top four cards. These are the top two cards. Your cartographers are not famous. <laughs> we shuffle. They're in a group. It's a union. <laughs> okay. I'll allow it. One, two, three, four. I will be discarding all four of these cards, putting none back on top in any order. Play another cartographer. And one, two, three, four. I will be getting rid of these two copper and putting this crossroads and cartographer back on top of my deck. And I'm gonna play Smithy to draw three cards. I have two. Two coins <laughs> for a crossroads. Alright. Uh, merchant ship triggers. I'm going to play a treasury, plus one card, plus one action, plus one coin. I'm going to play a chapel, and chapel away this copper, and now have two, three coins with action cards, and then plus three is six, plus two is eight for a province. My deck's pretty thin, so I think I'm going to be able to... I'm going to be playing my smithy to draw three cards. One, two, three. And I have three, six, seven, eight. For a province. Okay. I also have this nine nine coin for good measure. I'm gonna play a cartographer. Plus one card, plus one action. Look at the top four. And I will just go ahead and discard a chapel of province and then put a treasury and silver back on top. Then I'm going to play crossroads. Reveal my hand. There is one victory card in the state, so I'm gonna get to draw one. I get plus three actions though. And then I'm going to play a treasury, plus one card, plus one action, plus one coin. And then I'll play a merchant ship. So I now have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, only one buy. I'm going to purchase a province. And now it's my turn, where I'm going to play crossroads and draw two cards from these two victory cards in my hand. Okay. One, two. And then I will smithy. 
to draw three more cards. The one, two, three. Since I have some more action, I will play a cartographer. Draw one card plus one action. And look at the top four. Here's the top three. And here's the fourth one. These three... Actually, all four of these will be staying on top. Okay. And I will be... playing this cartographer. Draw one card plus one action. Playing this cartographer. Draw one card plus one action. One, two, three, four cards. These three will be discarded. This goes back on top. And I have another action where I'm going to reveal my hand for one card. One card. And I have three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven. Seven for a Silk Road. My turn's going to be a lot less interesting. Merchant ship, silver. Four coins. There's only one province left. This is bad. I need you to not get enough money to get that province. Both <laughs> one for every four victory cards in your deck, or two points. I'm going to get a tunnel. And I have one card left in my original deck, which I'm going to put on top. And I'm going to play my smithy to draw three cards. And I have three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to purchase another Silk Road. Okay. All right. This merchant ship triggers. Then I'll play this merchant ship. And I have got five in coins, so... And that is the end of the I will go ahead and purchase this province, and I think that'll be okay. All right. Game is over. Province pile is empty. So now we just count them up. I think you won. That's, that's kind of what my goal was at the beginning. I know. Today. I trashed the two. I trashed the two estates early, Good. and then so this this makes up for the initial starting estates. But you got two additional Silk Roads than me, and we each got the same number of provinces. Each Silk Road is worth two. So I have oh, yes. I have twenty seven points. Thirty one points. Thirty one points. GG. Well done. Good game. So you win by four. Man, I'm so bad at playing Dominion on camera. <laughs> All right. What did you lose your other game? Yeah, I lost the other game. Alright, so now that we've finished playing a game and I was utterly defeated, um, let's discuss general strategies that we could have taken with... These ten cards. ...this specific set of Kingdom cards. Let's start by talking about our openings. So this particular game was very interesting because... I had a 5-2 split and, and you I had, had a 3-4. Uh, we had to make different decisions. We had two two-cost cards, one three-cost card, four four cost cards and three five cost cards so what did you end up doing for your original opening uh my first turn i started off with five coins which purchased me a cartographer all right so you start off cartographer and then the two coins you got a, a crossroads. crossroads okay so that was uh that was pretty evident and we'll talk about these two cards in a second so my first turn i got four coins so i went with spice merchant and then silver I personally liked his opening much better than mine. Now, of course, with the cartographers, uh, the the ability on the bottom states that you get to look at the top four cards of your deck, and you can discard any number of them. And now this is really important early in the game when 30% of your deck is actually victory cards, which are estates. And you don't actually want those early, so you want to get rid of those if you can. And looking at the top four cards of your deck, that's... That's pretty deep when it's only 10 cards big. Yeah, so that's, well, it's, you, you have five cards at any given time. Exactly. So it'd even be, look at your whole deck or look at the yeah. majority of your deck at that point. And in conjunction with the crossroads, if I, if I didn't have any uh, estates in the top four cards in my deck, the odds were that they would be in my hands. So with the crossroads, I would be able to uh, convert those cards basically, not actually convert them, but I would be able to convert them into other cards. But the victory cards in your hand become a resource instead of a liability. Effectively, Crossroads allow you, allows you to draw a card for each one of those that you had, replaces them even though you would actually still have them in your hand just in case you wanted to do something with it. So, alright, so, and with my opening strategy, I was like getting a silver early, just so in the next shuffle I would actually have the silver in to get ready to jump up, but I didn't actually get up to gold level faster than he did. Yeah. He actually did better than I did. Spice Merchant, my idea was I wanted to thin out my deck because I like deck thinning strategies. Um, it's actually a lot 
now we've discovered. It's a lot less efficient than Chapel is. Uh, but you're supposed to get the returning value, so I, I bought two of these early, and I basically ended up trashing all of my coppers. The problem with that then later is though, these become worse than victory cards because you might be able to do nothing with them later in the game. Yeah, once eventually, you trash. eventually you'll run out of treasure cards to trash, so yeah. these will be idle cards in your hand, and it's basically like you'd only be drawing four cards per turn. Yeah, so if you didn't notice, I ended up trashing pretty much like six of my initial seven copper, and then I trashed both spice merchants because, well, they became useless after that. Like at the end of the game, I had a total of three treasure cards, two silvers and a gold. <laughs> the rest of my money came from other cards though, so the one benefit of having something like this, so you took the mass card route, I tried to take the mass money route, I went with merchant ships and treasury. So the merchant ships are the cards that gave you plus two coins uh, the, the turn that you play it and the, the next turn. I actually should have gone more crossroads in merchant ships because then I could have played multiple merchant ships. You definitely in a turn. had too few cards to give you actions because yeah. many of these cards just didn't give you actions. Well, I felt like I was doing okay because my treasuries gave me additional actions yeah. and I had crossroads, so I had enough to kind of draw into it. But with the treasuries, um, it's plus one card, plus one action, and then plus one coin. So with these. If you had this in hand, you could play it, you draw a card, and then you get plus one action. So it's as though you never played it, but you also get that extra plus one coin. And then, if you didn't buy a victory card, you could put it back on top of your deck. So you kind of cycle your deck, but every time, you persist an extra an extra coin for each treasury that you had. Uh, so that's that's the, the route that I was going. Clearly it wasn't fast enough, <laughs> especially compared to... I actually feel like the... If you did something with Kartari for Crossroads and Merchant Ship, that might have been really good but yeah. we won't know unless we try it so some of the card uh, so you saw ch you saw me play chapel so you saw that kind of play crossroads was a big player in that game uh, i bought one tunnel at the end when you discard this other than during a cleanup phase you may reveal it if you do gain a gold so i never had the opportunity to discard because there's no other cards that make me discard talisman we never used either talisman we never used it's uh it's four coins for a treasure card that is worth one one coin and while this is in play, when you buy a card costing four or four coins or less, that is not a victory card, gain a copy of it. So basically you double your purchase of any card that you buy that wasn't a victory card that was four or less. So like let's say you had you had a talisman out and a and a gold and you purchase a Smithy, you would actually get two copies of Smithy. And what else? You purchase Silk Roads. Yep. Silk Roads are a victory card. They are worth one victory point for every four victory cards in your deck. Uh, how many victory cards did you have at the end of your deck? I believe I had eleven. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Eleven. I That's think. why they were worth two each. Yeah. Yeah. But you had no. I had uh, four, nine, five, six, nine, seven, nine, eight, nine. nine. Okay, so you had nine. All right. So yeah, each one of those. They were two. worth two each. Spice Merchant. You know, we went. We use that a lot. Merchant Ship. He used Cartographer a lot, and we used Treasury. So. That's basically the 10 cards. I don't really foresee any way that you can abuse Talisman in this. I feel like maybe if you purchase a Talisman early... It's possible early, that you could have... You can get a bought, lot of crossroads. Yeah, or you could have bought multiple smithies if you went for a mass crossroads. Yeah, mass crossroads into smithy and yeah. then draw your deck virtually every turn. If, uh, if Because then you would have uh, many actions uh, to play multiple smithies. To play multiple terminal actions. So smithy, you remember, as we discussed in the complete tutorial video, uh, that's a terminal action. A lot of these are terminal actions, so the only ones that granted more actions were these three. But I mean, that's a fair number of that's a fair number of options. Yeah. So I used Chapel and I lost. So Chapel doesn't always win you games, but to be honest, I probably didn't use Chapel early enough. So that <laughs> yeah. was a huge problem. If I use Chapel really early, instead of going the spice spice merchant route, I just like getting my value. I just like spending all of my money. I want to yeah. try to spend maximum. But sometimes it's actually a good strategy to use. Four, four coins to purchase something that's worth two if you need it at that point, or especially early in the game, that really affects the rest of your game. So don't don't have that vice that I have. <laughs> that will just make you lose games, as shown here. Yeah. It's okay, though. Uh, let's see, what else? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, Cartographer is really good. Yeah. I like Cartographer. I like Merchant Ship, too, but that's also a terminal action, but it's eff effectively four money across two turns. Something that I would have changed was probably instead of buying Silk Roads, I could have purchased Duchies instead, because in the end the Silk Roads were only two points for me. Like yeah. if I if I realized that 
and found out that I had that many victory cards in my deck, it probably would have been better to purchase duchies, which are one more coin, but it would have been one more victory coin as well. Yeah, if you didn't have the money, you might not have had the choice, but yeah. in this case, I think... But I, I had the money most of the time. Okay. A bunch of these cards are from various expansions, but the majority of the cards from this particular Dominion uh, shuffle... Five of them came from the Hinterlands expansion. Uh, that was Crossroads, Tunnels, Spice Merchant, Silk Road, and Cartographer. All came from the Hinterlands expansion. Uh, we had Talisman, which we didn't use really. That was from Prosperity. And then Merchant Ship and Treasury. Those are from Seaside. And, uh, from and the, the base set, we had Chapel and Smithy. Expansions. But as we continue doing more Dominion Shuffles, you'll see the crazy combinations that can come up. Uh, any any other words to say? Hope you enjoyed the first uh, official Dominion Shuffle. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I am rolling. Um, how, do I, how do I start these again? Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Nam. OK. Hi, everybody. I'm Nam. Oh, you're not going to No, no. You, well, oh, usually okay. I have the other person actually say that. Oh, OK. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, let's play Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. Alright, <laughs> okay. You want to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock? Yeah. Okay, alright. Rock, Rock, Paper, Scissors, scissors Lizard, Spock! Do I have anything on my teeth? No. Okay, right. I just <laughs> ate, so I don't remember. Uh, okay. There's no giant green thing in his mouth. No, okay. Nothing. You know this is going to be a blue first, right? Yeah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I think Spock smashes... Rock? No, no, Spock Smash and Scissors, right? Oh, so on, on the first tutorial video, there was a reader that act Not a reader. <laughs> on the first tutorial video, there was actually a watcher. So me first? That's fine. Okay. Watcher. It's actually... A viewer. <laughs> viewer? Yeah, all right. that's, what, that's what all you guys are called. You're called viewers, don't <laughs> worry. You're not watchers. Okay, all right. I'm going to play Merchant Ship. Get me two coins now and two coins next turn, and I don't clean it up this turn playing Spice Merchant, and I'm going to trash a copper from my da from my hand, and then I will choose the other mode this time, plus two cards and plus one action. Or no, I can't play that. I don't have another action. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start that turn over. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to delete that. Yes. Just delete, get rid of that one. Okay. Yeah, we went over that the first time. Okay. It's okay. I know you weren't there, so don't worry about it. Cartog I'm imagining it right now, your entire deck, that it was just a movie, and it was just a bunch of cartographers. Drawing and, crossroads. And they're all, they're all approaching this crossroads, and they're like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna map this, <laughs> I'm gonna map, map this, this crossroads. Out. You should say that again, except you should say bye. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Just we're, we're just gonna look at the camera, and then we'll just, um, and, uh, that's all we have for you today, so, see you guys around. Bye.